All right, first at 10, Orange Beach Police investigating a deadly crash from over the weekend. At least two people were hospitalized. Now the crash happening on the Alabama Point Bridge in Orange Beach. I tied a finger it live now in the newsroom. And Tyler, police say two of the victims were heading home from work. They were Lenise and Byron. Orange Beach police say the 33 year old sisters were driving in a Jeep Liberty heading home to Pensacola when a Toyota Tacoma crossed over a median and slammed into them head on. This is all that remains of a Toyota pickup truck. The front end smashed after a deadly head on crash on the Alabama Point Bridge Saturday morning around 1230. The Tacoma is severely damaged, so I can imagine what the Jeep Liberty looks like. Three people were involved in the two car crash. All of them had to be pulled out using the jaws of life. One sister died on scene, the other flown to the hospital. A third person, identified as 26 year old Jacob Spiller from Northport, Alabama, was flown to University Hospital with serious injuries. It appears from the investigation that the coma jumped the median. It was heading westbound, jumped the median into the eastbound lanes and hit the Jeep Liberty head on. The vehicle the sisters were in is covered up at Orange Beach Police Impound while investigators work on the pickup truck. Tonight, a Pensacola family heartbroken as they prepare to bury a loved one. They were leaving work from Dairy Queen on their way back to Pensacola when the accident happened. The sisters both worked at Dairy Queen. Police are waiting on a toxicology report to see if alcohol may have played a role in the head on crash. At this point, police aren't identifying the sisters because not all the family have been notified. Just a tragic story. Live in the newsroom tonight, Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.